Welcome to It's Great to Be Grateful. Sister, we actually have to stop filming for a second. Sister, can you finish telling me the story? Yeah, so Lucy is the youngest of the four siblings and they're all playing hide and seek and she goes and hides in this wardrobe. But then when she gets to the back of the wardrobe, it's not actually the back of a wardrobe. It's a door to another world. Well, what happens next? Well, it's a really big mess because her older brother goes through the wardrobe too and he becomes an apprentice to an evil sorceress and she almost kills wait, wait, wait. Lucy. You can't tell the end of the story you're gonna ruin it. Well, you just have to read it for yourself. I am going to. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe sounds like an awesome oh, book. It is. It's one of those books where you really feel like you're there. Mm. I love getting to know the characters. It's almost like making new friends. Stories are so amazing when you think about it. Isn't it amazing how our brains can imagine a world and then create it in a book so I feel like I'm there when I'm reading it? That's exactly why I love reading Laura Ingalls Wilder so much. I feel like I'm on the prairie with her. Or Little Women, I feel like I'm part of their family. You know, I really love both those books, but some of my favorites are books that are funny. Like P.G. Woodhouse's Jeeves and Wooster books. It's like reading a joke book, but it's a whole story. You know, there are a lot of amazing stories to be grateful for. For our gratitude challenge, what is one book that you're grateful for? Leave a comment, then share the gift of gratitude by asking someone you know what their favorite story is and why they love it so much. Join us next time for a new episode. Until then, God bless you. And remember, it's, it's great, great to be grateful. grateful.